into lifestyles of the strange and exotic rock in my new do haul. Though by the time you've seen it, it's probably going to be like four months old. <laughs> so, as I'm filming it, I got it today. What do you think? Ooh. And this officially is the shortest hairdo I have ever had. Definitely. Because the shortest I went was like a bob in like second, third grade, something like that. Under the delusion of something else, you know. <laughs> but this is it. And I'm playing phone tag now with the stylus I wanted originally. Couldn't get her. There's no hours. So I'm like, okay, first I called. And then I'm like, well, no, I want the other number. Then I called telling her the other number. Then I'm like overthinking. So I got three messages and I'm like, okay, fine. So I called the other place that I had never been to. And my sister and a friend of mine um, highly recommended it. So I'm like, okay, well, for the hell of it, let's see if I can get her. Oh, I can take you tonight. Like an hour after I called. I'm like, okay. So now I'm like the guilt of like feeling like I'm hounding the original person. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well. But she was someone who was like totally me because she had nose piercings and but she had tattoos and stuff. So I'm like, this person might actually get it. And I showed her one of the pictures that I wanted or that I was referencing. She's like, I might have to do that because she usually goes red. So... And she, because I wasn't quite sure, I'm like, well, this is what I want. But there was a picture of kind of just like flat. <laughs> I'm like, this is kind of what I'm <laughs> expecting to end up with. But it came out so much better than I thought it would. So considering that my hair hates me. So, and there's just a little, you know, the residue of hairspray because hairspray don't stay in my hair with diddly squat. So freshly washed, you know, just residue of product. I'm rather impressed, <laughs> so. And she's like, well, cause I gave myself an undercut on the sides to kind of match the, you know, match the sides. To kind of, well, it kind of went like this and I'm like, you know, just the heck this, you know, for the heck of it, see, you know, what would be, you know, cleaned up on the sides. And there was like three strands of hair on each side. I'm like, well, what the hell's the point? I might as well just even it up. So she's like, we well, can't get quite what you're looking for, which is fine with me because this is perfectly fine <laughs> until like it grows in and I'm like well that wasn't you know something I was worried about as far as like the undercut not growing in you know like deal with the poof that you got so she kind of worked with what I got so I could you know so I kind of got the best of both worlds and I just freshly you know bleached my hair so uh, we'll see what fun times I'm thinking instead of just going like all red maybe have like a sprig of red right here in the long part Oh, the fun times. So, now that my rant of my new do, and then she's like, I wasn't quite sure what to do with this part. And then she had like, it was going to keep it kind of long here. And it just, you know, your ear kind of is there. So it's like, I'm like, no. <laughs> so I just had the little bitty part. It's like, well, you can put it to the side. And so I have options, which was awesome. So I gave her, I guess, what would be considered a hefty tip. <laughs> so now that I've got that all settled, We'll get into the hall. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Welcome to my world that I'm like, nyew, nyew, nyew. we go to, we we're supposed to go to an anniversary party. Nobody seems to specify on the invitation where precisely you're supposed to go. We figure it's some one place. We go like the fifth person to ask, nope, up the street. So we spent like a half an hour trying to look for the place. Couldn't find it, said screw it since we're up here. Let's head to the mall. So this is the stuff we got in the mall, in and around the mall, which is much more fun, I might add. So, first place we stopped since we came in from the other side was Michael's. And usually I don't come out with too much unless I'm like actually on a craft kick, which I haven't been because I've been all over the place doing a shit ton of stuff. So, they had stuff on sale. And I picked up, well, first thing I grabbed, this was at a not quite buck fifty, and I thought this was just cool because it's a magnifying glass. Wow, it actually ain't half bad. <laughs> I thought that would be a useful little little uh, thing, and it's nickel free too, which is awesome. Uh, doesn't say what it was originally though. Okay. At least four to seven dollars, anyways. Oh, duh! It's on the thing. It's four ninety nine. I was correct. So I got it for a buck fifty. I, th I think I've seen it off and on for quite a while. So I grabbed this. And the next thing they got, they had 
a whole bunch of different ones and I'm like okay what ones don't I have and I always like malachite and it doesn't say on the card which is totally stupid it says on the card like when all the items are gone on the back then you can like move them around it's like at least I know what malachite looks like so I have a malachite pendant though I can't remember if I actually have one or not I know I have a cat's eye I've got a couple of quartz so I now have a malachite and this was mm, 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 pendant point two ninety nine, and it was like seven something originally. So I was happy about that. So I kind of splurged on myself. <laughs> and the next thing I got was again I think three bucks. Mm, the most expensive thing I got was three thirty three. Woo. And I saw this off to the side, and they call it Shortcuts. Rakuri Atashos, I don't know. Metal connector. And I loved this because it says, A well-behaved woman, well-behaved women rarely make history. Eleanor Roosevelt. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I thought that was really, really cool. And I think I'm just going to figure out a way and have it as like a bracelet. Ooh, I know what I can do. Huzzah, I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> I utilize what's already on my wrist. So that's the plan for that. And Eleanor Roosevelt's just totally awesome anyway. And this, I would have preferred if it was silver because I like silver better. But it was sparkly and shiny and I had to have it. And this was two fifty. <laughs> I love the like rainbow gems there. I'm not sure if this is nickel free too. This one didn't specify. It is nickel free because ah, I'm freaking allergic to nickel. I mean, you don't know what it's like to have your flesh itch from the inside out where you just like pop off a jigit and like get in. Ugh. So yes, nickel is an evil thing. So being nickel free, I won't itch, which is nice. So I thought that was just very pretty. I like shiny things. I was looking at it, kind of went back and forth, back and forth, looking at it, saying, like, must have shiny. So I got shiny. So, and the last thing I got at Michael's, nope, one of the last things, was Herb Trio Home Fragrance Collection, and I think this was like 80 cents. Yep, yeah, 80 cents. And I think it's lavender, is it mint? And I'm not quite sure what that is, but it smelled good. This was four bucks originally. Mmm, mm, definitely lavender. I like the lavender. Definitely can use the lavender. It's like, I don't know spicy <laughs> herby so that's kind of cool so we'll see how these go some of them are like a little cheaper than others like the better brands the odor kind of permeates nicely where the cheaper ones you get like a puff of smell and then it's just candle <laughs> so not sure but it smells really good mm, very very clean like if you get like a spicy soap mm, i likey and the last thing I got at Michael's, the candy rather sucked. <laughs> so I popped off his head and ate the candy because he, he doesn't work. So I'll have to change the battery. So you pop off his head, take the candy, put the candy back in his head, and then he pops out. I have the big, big one. Ugh. Way up there, I have Grandpa Fader, which is exactly the same thing. But this is the same thing in miniature. So I thought that was cute. Uh, and he makes noise too, but he had like gumballs. Uh, and this was the only Vader there. And of course this was from like Force Awakens. So, I got another Vader. I'm like, who the hell would want a Kylo Ren figure? I'm like, an angsty little kid. I'm sorry, but he was the stupidest villain I had ever seen. So, you can't miss, you, you, know, you can't screw with the classic Vader, okay? Can't. So, being that we did all that fun stuff, and I think I came out of the mall empty-handed. <laughs> nope, I didn't. I got pinwheels from Joanne's for back there. You will see in around the 4th of July. <laughs> so, of course, there was a Goodwill. Had to stop. Very glad I did. Now, this just got me on cute factor. So I got to toss it in the wash. <sighs> and it's like a little, a little, um, kind of 1920s-esque little hat. Which, with my haircut, will be perfectly 1920s. Like, dah, 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 dah. Maybe it was because I was watching Chicago stuff last night. <laughs> uh, for two bucks. From Daphne. 
Korean? Made in China. Oh my gosh, and it's Angora. I was not expecting that. I knew I have like a shirt that's an Angora sweater. It's exactly like that. And I'm like, well, that feels kind of cool. It's an actual Angora hat. I was <laughs> kind of surprised. Well, I feel very 1920s now. <laughs> hmm. So I thought that was kind of cute. And now that I have shorter hair, I might need to keep my head more warm instead of just for fashionable fashion. And not that fantastic there. And the last thing I got was for two bucks. And hell yeah, that was going to come home with me. The coolest salt and pepper shaker you will ever hope to find. <laughs> Yeah, it just says made in China, item number, buttload of whatever's. Is is that not the freaking coolest thing ever? Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, it would have been cool if you could put like toothpicks in his mouth or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is so cool. I was so very happy to find that. I'm like, two bucks. <laughs> yeah, you're coming home. I mean, hell, that's two bucks right here. If you go to Walmart, it's like a dollar for each uh, doodah here. Come on. <laughs> now I get to find a home for him. Should he go with my skulls or should I stick the skulls where it is? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm very happy I found him. <laughs> now, now I can Instagram him. So I guess that's it as far as uber wonderful news. <laughs> so now <laughs> back to the hairdo thing. How pathetic is my family <laughs> when it has to go through a grapevine and supposedly my cousin saw me. I'm assuming probably through social media because I didn't see him face to face. It's like, you know, Heidi shaved her head. So she told his mother, who told her mother, thus my grandmother. So, and I had been in front of grandma, like, days within the week after the fact. <laughs> She'd never seen. She had to actively be told. Like, who did what? So I, this is when I was a little longer. It's like, hey, it didn't feel, okay. Moved on. So I guess somehow that got to mother. So my sister, <laughs> it's like, mother, I think you shaved your head. So I, I, and so she has no idea what, what to expect, so I can just imagine what's going through her head. So I haven't told her yet, and we're supposed to go walking tomorrow, so wish me luck. <laughs> she is the bane of my existence. <sighs> Seriously, and you wonder why I have issues. Alrighty, I think I shall shut my app and work another video. Alrighty, <laughs> thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye.